Wednesday, and then the heat begins to return going into Friday and Saturday. So how does this all shake out over the next couple of days? We're going to break it down hour by hour. It's coming up. All right, Glenn, thank you. The Rochester City School District is now rethinking its online parent forums after a hacker posted racist comments during a session this weekend. As Andrew Banis reports, the district is looking to tighten security for parent forums and for the remote classroom learning that will resume next month. Yeah, Doug, I spoke with an expert today who says the number one thing a remote learning host can do to prevent a hacker from entering one of these forums or online classrooms is to make sure you adjust the security settings before you even start that meeting. The harder you make it for a hacker to get in, well, the better odds it'll be that they don't get in. It was supposed to be a time for parents in the Rochester City School District to get answers about remote learning. But just as it was getting started, this happened. Someone hacked on, posting racist comments and images. The meeting was cut short as a result. So we will have to uh, reschedule this and... Uh, we will move forward. I apologize greatly. Jonathan Weissman, a professor in the Department of Computing Securities at RIT, says there are steps districts can take to avoid things like that. Number one, control who has access to the forum. They send out those email links in advance. You're, you're doing your due diligence to putting that invitation in the hands of those that should be getting it as opposed to anybody out there on the internet. Weissman says the district's intentions were in the right place, wanting to make the forum as public as possible, but in doing so, they invited unwelcome guests. On one side, you have security, and on the other side, you have convenience. RCSD made a public tweet with the actual link to their meeting and posted it for everybody to see and use. He says it's best to use all the security features on applications like Zoom. By adding a few safe walls, you'll be better equipped to avoid hackers. Generate a random meeting ID and password protect that meeting ID. Many districts, like RCSD, are using Zoom to host forums and teach students remotely. Superintendent Jamie Farr with the Canandaigua School District says they're working to avoid this issue as well, but it's something they need to be prepared for. I think over time people have become much more comfortable with Zoom and with online and kind of this uh, digital communication. And so hopefully over time we just become a little bit better with it and a little more savvy along the way. And a spokesperson with RCSD tells me that they sent out robocalls to all families in the district today explaining what exactly happened and also informing them that moving forward, instead of Zoom, they'll be using YouTube to post the forums. Any families with questions, ask to send them into the district beforehand. You can do that on their website. Reporting it live for 13 Wham, I'm Andrew Banus. All right, Andrew, thank you. Still ahead, where it got so hot, even the thermometer had enough. Also, a first report from Bill's camp.